Imagine a place so hidden, it's like a secret kept from the rest of the world. Picture an island, surrounded by the endless ocean, where time stands still, and the people live as they have for thousands of years, away from the hustle and bustle of our busy world. This isn't a scene from a movie. It's real and it exists. Welcome to North Sentinel Island, a place shrouded in mystery and protected by its people, the Sentinelese. They have lived here in peace, with nature as their companion, far from the reach of modern life. Why does this island, no bigger than a few square miles, captivate us so much? What stories lie hidden beneath its canopy of trees? And why have its people chosen a life of solitude over the connection with the rest of us? As we set off on this journey to uncover the secrets of the most secluded and mysterious island, let's ask ourselves, what can we learn from a place that has remained untouched by the outside world for so long? Can happiness truly exist in isolation? Join us as we peek into a world apart, a slice of ancient earth, where the Sentinelese continue to thrive, wrapped in the enigma of isolation. But as we do, remember, some mysteries are kept for a reason. What will we find as we delve into the story of North Sentinel Island? In the vast blue of the Indian Ocean lies North Sentinel Island, a place wrapped in secrets and guarded by the ocean's embrace. This island, small and isolated, is home to the Sentinelese, a tribe untouched by the hands of time. They've lived here, in this green haven, for thousands of years, away from the buzz of the modern world. The Sentinelese stand as guardians of their traditions, living in harmony with the land and sea that nourish them. Their ways are a riddle to us preserved across centuries. In their world, there are no smartphones, no internet, no skyscrapers. Instead, they share their days with the towering trees, the whispering winds and the endless ocean. Their life is simple, yet rich with the knowledge of the forest the patterns of the stars, and the rhythm of the waves. They hunt with bows and arrows, fish in the coral-rich waters, and gather what the forest offers. Their homes are humble, made from the bounty of the land, providing shelter from the storm and shade from the sun. But it's not just their skills of survival that fascinate us. It's their choice to remain secluded, to live as a whisper of a world long gone. This choice poses many questions. What wisdom lies within their way of life? How have they thrived in such isolation? And what can their story teach us about our own lives? The Sentinelese, in their silence, remind us of the diversity and complexity of human existence. They challenge us to think about what it means to be connected, not just through cables and screens, but through the shared breath of life on this planet. As guardians of their time, they hold a mirror to our world, asking us to reflect on our journey and the paths we choose to walk. North Sentinel Island, a jewel in the Bay of Bengal, remains an enigma wrapped in the blue vastness of the ocean. This island is a fortress surrounded by coral reefs that dare outsiders to breach its natural defenses. Its geography is a tapestry of mystery, with dense forests that whisper the secrets of millennia and sandy shores that kiss the clear turquoise waters. The island is not large, but its heart is wild and untamed. Its forests are lush, a green canopy that stretches towards the sky hiding the secrets of the Sentinelese beneath its leafy embrace. The land is alive, pulsating with the rhythms of nature. Here, the soil and the sea converge in a symphony of ecological harmony, providing food, shelter, and the essence of life to the island's inhabitants. The coral reefs that encircle the island are the underwater guardians teeming with life. They are the rainforests of the ocean, vibrant ecosystems that nurture fish, crabs, and other marine life, forming the foundation of the Sentinelese diet. These waters, clear and rich, are a fisherman's paradise, untouched by pollution and the ravages of overfishing. Above the water's surface, the island's ecology is a marvel of natural engineering. The trees, tall and majestic, are home to a variety of birds whose songs fill the air with music. The underbrush teems with life, from the small, scurrying creatures that form the undercurrent of the island's food web to the larger animals that tread softly beneath the canopy. Rain nourishes the island feeding its streams and watering its vegetation. The cycle of life here is evident in every drop of rain, every leaf on the tree, and every footprint in the sand. It's a delicate balance, where every element of the ecosystem plays a crucial role in sustaining life. North Sentinel's geography and ecology are not just the backdrop to the lives of the Sentinelese. They are intrinsic to their very existence. The island is a living, breathing world of its own, a reminder of the planet's wild beauty and the resilience of life in its most unspoiled form. It challenges us to think about our relationship with the natural world, 
urging us to respect and protect the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth. The story of North Sentinel Island is like a book where most pages remain unturned. Its history whispers through the dense forests and along the sandy shores, tales of a land that has remained largely untouched for thousands of years. This island, shrouded in mystery, sits in the Bay of Bengal, a jewel of nature that has seen civilizations rise and fall. Our knowledge of North Sentinel's past is pieced together from rare encounters and fleeting observations. The island first caught the world's eye centuries ago when explorers mapped the seas. Yet, it remained a distant, untouchable enigma, its people choosing isolation over contact with the outside world. Historical records are sparse, but they speak of a tribe that has lived in these parts for tens of thousands of years, possibly one of the last groups to remain virtually untouched by modern society. The Sentinelese have defended their solitude fiercely, repelling invaders, traders, and even rescuers with a determined stand. In the late 1800s, British colonizers made attempts to explore the island, leading to brief and often tragic encounters. These early intrusions into Sentinelli territory left behind stories of a people wholly committed to their way of life, using their knowledge of the land and the sea to survive, much as their ancestors did. Through the 20th century, the outside world's curiosity grew, but so did our understanding of the need to protect the Sentinelese's way of life. Each attempt to breach their solitude ended in a clear message. The Sentinelese were to remain an uncontacted people, guardians of their own destiny, living echoes of human history. Today, the island stands as a testament to resilience and the enduring desire for autonomy. It reminds us that in our rapidly changing world, there are still places where history breathes, untouched by the passage of time. North Sentinel Island, with its untold stories and guardians, holds lessons in respect, perseverance, and the intricate value of our diverse human tapestry. North Sentinel Island, a world apart, has seen its quiet existence occasionally disrupted by the outside world. These rare moments of contact between the Sentinelese and outsiders are chapters of curiosity, tragedy, and resilience. Each encounter, whether accidental or intentional, has echoed across the globe, stirring debates and fascination. The island first entered the broader public consciousness when a shipwreck in the late 19th century left sailors stranded on its shores. The Sentinelese responded with caution and aggression, a clear message of their desire for isolation. This pattern repeated over the years, with every boat that drifted too close or every plane that flew overhead, the tribe's response was consistent. Arrows launched at the intrusion, a defense of their sovereignty. In the 1970s and 1980s, the Indian government made several attempts to establish contact. They left gifts at the shorelines, hoping to bridge the vast cultural divide with coconuts and trinkets. These offerings were met with mixed reactions, curiosity mingled with caution, but always at a distance, always on the Sentinelese terms. Perhaps the most tragic of these encounters occurred in 2006, when two fishermen, lost and illegally fishing near the island, were killed. This incident starkly reminded the world of the dangers inherent in trying to penetrate the Sentinelese's fiercely guarded solitude. Then, in 2018, the death of an American missionary who ventured onto the island with the intent to convert the Sentinelese to Christianity brought global attention. His fate was a sombre testament to the Sentinelese's unwavering determination to remain detached from the outside world. Each of these clashes and contacts serves as a stark reminder of the complex ethical and moral questions surrounding the Sentinelese. Their consistent message of self-isolation challenges our understanding of autonomy, sovereignty, and the rights of indigenous peoples. It forces us to confront the impact of our curiosity and our interventions, asking us to consider the weight of our footsteps on the sands of distant shores. North Sentinel Island, surrounded by treacherous reefs and sheer isolation, has been a fortress of culture, safeguarding its people from the outside world's tides. The Sentinelese, through their fierce independence and determined self-sufficiency, have turned their island into a bastion of untouched tradition amidst a sea of global change. This commitment to isolation isn't just a stance against the intrusion, but a profound connection to their ancestral lands and ways of life. The island's geography, with its ring of coral reefs and the absence of natural harbors, acts as natural defenses against uninvited guests, but it's the Sentinelese's unwavering resolve that has truly preserved their isolation. The Sentinelese lifestyle, honed over millennia, is a testament to human adaptability and understanding of nature. 
They rely on the dense forests for their tools, the sea for their sustenance, and the wisdom of generations for their survival. This connection to their environment is not merely practical, but deeply spiritual, binding them to their island in ways that defy modern understanding. In the face of the modern world's curiosity and at times, its arrogance, the Sentinelese stance serves as a powerful statement on the rights of indigenous peoples. Their refusal of contact speaks volumes about their desire to maintain their identity, traditions, and autonomy. It is a reminder that not all of humanity's progress is measured by technological advancement or global interconnectedness. For the Sentinelese, progress means the continuation of their way of life, unaltered and uninterrupted. Their isolation is a cultural choice, a living example of an alternative path of human development, where community, tradition and harmony with nature are paramount. It challenges the outside world to reconsider notions of civilization and progress, and to recognize the inherent value and dignity in diverse ways of life. As a cultural fortress, North Sentinel Island stands not only as a guardian of its people, but as a beacon of diversity, reminding us of the countless ways humanity can choose to live, thrive, and interpret its existence on this earth. The Sentinelese's choice to remain isolated on North Sentinel Island stirs a complex debate about the ethical boundaries of contact with uncontacted or isolated tribes. This conversation navigates the murky waters between curiosity and respect, intervention and preservation, highlighting the delicate balance needed to honor the sovereignty and wishes of such communities. At the heart of this debate is the principle of self-determination. The Sentinelese, by their actions, have made a clear choice to live apart from the global community. Ethically, respecting this choice means acknowledging their right to autonomy, to live as they have for generations without external interference. Yet, this stance raises questions. What responsibilities does the outside world have towards the Sentinelese, particularly in matters of health, safety, and the preservation of their environment? The introduction of diseases to which the Sentinelese have no immunity poses a grave risk, as history has shown with other indigenous peoples. The ethical dilemma deepens when considering potential life-saving interventions. Is it justifiable to breach their isolation for their health and welfare? Or does this violate their right to live as they choose? Further, the debate extends to the preservation of their land and waters, increasingly threatened by global environmental changes and human activities. Protecting the Sentinelese's home requires international cooperation and respect for boundaries, both physical and moral. It underscores the need for global policies that safeguard the rights and territories of isolated tribes against exploitation and environmental degradation. The allure of the unknown about the Sentinelese and their way of life also brings up ethical considerations about privacy and consent. The digital age, with its insatiable appetite for content, often blurs the lines between sharing knowledge and exploiting the subjects of that knowledge. Ensuring that the Sentinelese are not unwillingly exposed or subjected to the world's gaze is a modern ethical imperative. This debate, rich in its complexity, challenges us to reflect on the meaning of progress, the value of cultural diversity, and the depth of our respect for human rights. It calls for a thoughtful approach that weighs the benefits of contact against the potential harms, always erring on the side of caution and respect for the Sentinelese's enduring wish to remain apart. In navigating these ethical boundaries, the global community must strive for actions that protect, respect, and honor the legacy and future of North Sentinel Island's guardians. North Sentinel Island is like a secret garden in the big ocean. It's home to the Sentinelese who live far away from the busy world. They've kept their way of life just like their ancestors did, with no interest in the things we use every day. The island itself helps keep visitors away. It has dangerous reefs and no easy places to land a boat. But it's really the strong will of the Sentinelese that keeps their home just for them. They use everything the island offers, trees for tools, the sea for food, and old wisdom to stay safe and healthy. They live with the land and sea in a special way that's hard for us to fully understand. The Sentinelese choosing to stay away from the outside world makes us think. It shows us there are different ways to live and be happy. It's not always about having the latest gadgets or being online. For them, happiness is about keeping their traditions and living in peace on their beautiful island. Their choice to live alone is a big message to everyone else. It says, this is our way and we want to keep it. It makes us ask big questions about what it means to be advanced or modern. The Sentinelese remind us that being close to nature and holding on to old ways can also be a good way to live. North Sentinel Island is more than just a place. 
It's a reminder that the world is full of different people, each with their own way of life. It teaches us to respect those differences and learn from them. The island and its people are a treasure, showing us there's not just one way to live a good life. North Sentinel Island, surrounded by the vast ocean, is a secret world. It's like a hidden treasure chest full of stories and ways of life we hardly know. The people there, the Sentinelese, choose to live without the things we think we need. No phones, no internet, just the forest, the ocean and their traditions. It's strange and beautiful how they live so happily in their own world. They remind us that being happy doesn't always mean having the newest gadget or being online. Instead, it's about family, nature and living a life that feels right to you. But here's a big question. Should we try to learn more about them or leave them be? It's tricky because we're curious, but we also want to respect their choice to live without us. It's like seeing a wild animal in the forest. Sometimes it's better to just watch and not disturb. This island teaches us that the world is big and full of mysteries. And sometimes the most amazing thing we can do is to just admire from afar. It tells us that it's okay to be different and that every way of living has its own kind of beauty. So, as we think about this island, let's remember to respect other people's choices and the beautiful mysteries our world holds. And hey, why not check out our next video, The Nation of High-End Jails and Stunning Ladies. It's another journey into a surprising side of our world.